Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. We're still playing as a randomly generated Telecore Sovereign Domains, and we are actually now on patch 1.4. Now, patch 1.4 doesn't seem to change that much. Um, there's starting to be some talk about, in 1.5, visiting certain combat mechanics to discourage death stacks, but even then, I, I don't know. And that is, that is really a problem in Stellaris here. Um, let's be honest, combat in Stellaris is basically just... Assemble all your ships together, biggest fleet wins. If you happen to have the biggest fleet at the start of combat, at the start of a war, then you just win the war and that's it. And then you just wait around until some things get um, get invaded and then it kind of ends there. Yeah, you know, there's some room for some differing technologies here and there, but not really, especially with the inability to do uh, a lot of really advanced scouting, um, which is it's very disappointing. So, and I have to admit, I'm kind of sort of bored by Stellaris and I, I feel like we might wrap up this series sooner rather than later um, I'm not worried about this particular war again like I'm just not gonna build any ships in this one and it, I'm not gonna lose anything out of it it's perfectly fine but like the beginning of Stellaris is so good it is so legitimately good and then it sort of oh I have to choose what to upgrade you to um, and then it sort of stops being interesting um, I, I, in the midway point, and even, I don't know, the end game, it still seems a little bit dicey. Um, what is this? Alien vessels. Semic aliens. Unable to pick up any communications, impossible to translate their language. Okay, well, I guess we were starting an event here at this point, so hey, we'll get some sort of excitement. We need to queue up a few more builds over here. Um, I think we're just going to go ahead and get like more and more science going on as many places as possible. We'll get you built over here too. Um, build a science lab here, and what I'm going to do is move this person here. I realize you won't be doing anything, and that's kind of meh, but I'm going to go and put a droid over in the capital to get that work going on. That's going to be fine. So yeah, uh, oof, wow, we burned through our minerals fast. I mean, again, I should spread it out a little bit here. Um, let's do something like that. And over here, there's nothing to do. Okay. Uh, although there are, we're going to want some new buildings here soon. But yeah, so I'm going to be spending all my minerals just, you know, developing my infrastructure here for a little bit since I'm not planning on building ships. <clears throat> It'll be a little bit annoying if too many of my uh, planets get... Um, get invaded while we uh, while we wait for this war Station to be resolved. But it's not actually a real problem. Yeah, and we'll just rebuild a couple of things afterwards, and you know, that's that's all okay. Uh, you guys are gonna sit at home, which is gonna be fine. We're not gonna send you out. So yeah, we just ha sort of have to wait. And I think like when you look, when you compare Stellaris to something like EU4 or started. certainly Hearts of Iron, but even Station just looking at EU4, um, the the attrition system. The terrain system, if the sieging down of fleet. forts, I think all pr is, these are all systems to prevent doom stacks. I mean, certainly attrition is one of the most important ones. And fleet. so there's a lot of room. I mean, still biggest army tends to win, but not necessarily. The ability to rebuild if is a thing because it's, fleet. because Station forts make it so much harder for people to get deeper into your territory. And I mean, the static defenses that you can build in Stellaris and, you know, maybe focusing more on that would be better, but Construction ship I don't know. Under attack. Construction ship under attack. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and sit. It's gonna be kind of annoying. We've got like nothing to do but to wait here, while you know they peace out for other stuff. So they want to ban artificial intelligence, which I don't remember that being there before. But yeah, that's about it. It's not like we're losing any planets or anything like that. And I'm not sure that the um, artificial intelligence is something that bothers us that much. Um, I think it might impact... <clears throat> yeah, it's going to disassemble all the robots. Which is actually going to make our people surprisingly happy. So, alright. Well, I guess, um, you know what I could have done then is not built a robot over here. Can I still cancel that? Let's do that and move you over here. Alright, it's going to disassemble some of the robots. But that's fine. Mostly I use the robots to accelerate our initial growth like that's it like it feels like <clears throat> the the loss here is going to be inconsequential and partially it's because of the uh um the i don't know the the war goals that were picked i guess but it's still it's still sort of weird that's kind of like that 
I don't what is wow, I guess this is a really intense tech. Station. Can we under have, oh there's the total, twenty eight thousand. <clears throat> and we just started, because this is also twenty eight thousand. And we're quite a bit further along. Hmm. We do have an armada that has assembled over here and is currently repairing. But yeah, we're not actually building any more ships, and I don't plan on building any more. In fact, what I should do is, like, almost hide the fleet somewhere else. Can I, have, like, link it to an existing fleet? Yeah, but all my allies don't have a fleet either. I don't know, just to avoid a little bit of annoyance, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I don't know if I can right-click on the fleet and just tell you to follow it that way. Mm-hmm. Just get you in orbit around a safe system. Um, some unemployment. Yeah, that's fine. You've got your upgrades. You're waiting for things to come in. Station um, under attack. Any other buildings I want to build here? Hyper entertainment form, but we need bigger population here, which isn't going to be helpful if you keep moving away. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade you. And you. We're going to get more. Um, run some biology here. And these were all done. Okay. Still like different indicators over here, so I don't have to cycle through these quite as often to, you know, get an idea about what's going on. Should move you there. You are very miserable though. That's just weather, terror bombing. Um ooh, you don't like our war philosophy. Unrestricted wars. Oh, because you're a fanatic pacifist. We should just get you to leave the Empire. Alien Overlord. Well, everything will be better if once the war ends. Uh, we have a bunch of energy, and again, we don't really have a good dump for energy. Um, because I don't think we've got any terraforming to do. That was going to be one of the ways that we could dump a bunch of stuff. Um, that's a tomb world, so no. One of the things 1.4 came is if you started a new game, it would reduce the, um, the frequency of um of tomb world spawning but that's not gonna affect us can we get to you like, i don't know if we should but um i want expansion planner tropical world do we have people for tropical world <clears throat> no i don't think we really do i think that's why we've been waiting i mean some of these might not be you know, 35 percent 35%. Yeah, I don't think we have anyone who can tropical world very well. <clears throat> Hang on. I said Telecour. And you're telling me it's 75% habitable. Well, this is inside another empire. Oh, that's Alpine World. Yeah, there we go. Is colonizable, first of all. Well, droids don't count. Twelve thousand is a little further away. Uh, I guess we could do this planet. Don't even know where this is. Oh, right there. I mean, it's possible our colony ship will get destroyed along the way, but it might not. So let's build it from. Oh, does it filter by race now? Oh, that's quite handy, actually. So, Telecore. Yeah. And over here. And my homeworld, Taldesim. Is not in the list, really? Alright, whatever. Xenophiles, yes. Colonize. Probably here, and go. All right, I'm gonna do. Research complete. Still got an enemy fleet buzzing around. Five thousand, fifteen thousand. Research superfluid materials. Ah, better engineering facilities. Again, I'd like to pop up to know where those all are. Um, I don't think. I mean, the better mineral processing plant actually wouldn't be bad. We'd go for plus ten percent to plus twenty percent bonus. That's pretty good. 
I don't think we need the cruiser assembly yards. Well, that might lead to, like, bigger ship designs. Just pick up bigger torpedoes. I think... I'm trying to remember. I think you do need this to get the next level ship. If we're going to start putting torpedoes on stuff, then we kind of need to do that. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. It's going to be fine. You're doing that. Ion disruptors coming in. Right, because one of the things it was going to do is actually switch over probably away from torpedoes and into beam weapons because we're being countered a fair bit. And that's not Hostile good. Fleet detected. Now, you're here. Were you... Hostile fleet detected. Okay, it looks like my armada complete. is following that other fleet. Hostile fleet detected. And we have wormhole. Yeah, so we're fine. Uh, oh, there we go. Ion disruptors done. I'm not sure if we're going to do a redesign quite yet. There's a mod that makes this come sooner, so you can get automatic exploration early in the game when it's like still relevant, which seems like a thing to do. Um, we don't need more energy. Uh, plasma throwers. I wonder if we want to actually... It's very expensive. But this is the next tier up of just beam weapons if we did want to go down that route. I think I'm going to start. I think that's going to be okay. Uh, we have tons of minerals. So, looking for upgrades for wherever we might have those engineering research bases. Not there. Uh, I think it might still be really huge. Planetary administration is nice. Um, yeah, let's get the physics lab. That's going to be fine. And no upgrades over here. People are still miserable. And we've got separatist strikes as well. Oh! Well, 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 well. We've got nothing much to do with our influence right now, so... Um, I'm not going to grant independence, but I will start suppressing you, that's fine. Um, suppress you as well. Now, I'm sure a lot of this crankiness is highly correlated with the war, but... We're going to go for that anyway. Um, oh, I guess what I could have done is bought... That's right. That's the action you can do. I forgot about these guys. I'm still not in the brain space that these guys exist. But um, I could go and buy a bunch of minerals because I can bank... Well, we're going to start hitting that cap soon too, but... Let's say we bank a few. And we could consider starting to build a bunch of ships, but that like, seems quite backwards. we got a bunch of debris kicking around. I wonder if we can... Uh, you don't have a scientist. I'll take you because you're younger and you might have a chance to level up more. And the service speed is fine, I guess. Okay. I don't understand. Wait, are we not wormhole? Oh, yeah, you're jumping to the wormhole station. Yeah, yeah, right. Of course. I thought you were, like, taking the hyperspace routes. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. No, no. You gotta jump to the wormhole station. Sorry, it's been, like, a week and a half, two weeks since the last time I played, so my brain's not in there. Uh, some people are starting to peace out. Great. Where's our piece? Wait, is that our piece? Yes, it is. I guess I shouldn't have dismissed that. I should have gone to see what was what. Um, hang on a sec. So you... Go home to nearest base. So the war score had the score hadn't gone up that much, which to me means our AI is still fine. We analyzed our debris; that's fine. We can start dumping minerals into building our new ships, which is good. Um, I'm considering hmm, maybe waiting over here. How's our uh, our happiness situation now? Down to two, one. Yeah, so I'll keep checking that. If we when we drop down to one. In these, then I'll probably go and stop suppressing. Just to save up the influence some more. Governor Rui was up a level. That's good. We've got lots of influence. We could actually get some more sector governors, which sounds like a really good idea, <clears throat> actually. Um, see, like, we've got ten planets in here, so why don't we go... Oh. I don't know if I care about that trait, but that's going to be fine. Um, three planets over here, so yeah, we'll recruit, because we've got lots of room for leaders. 
Mm, resilient is nice, although you're older to start off with. Um, we don't care about the slave up, but I'll just take the younger, cheap one. That's going to be fine. One and two. I wonder if it might be worth throwing another governor in there. You know what? We could, we've got lots of room for leaders. It's going to be fine. You're quite young, and you build things cheaper. So there we go. We'll grab that. And that's only a singleton sector, so I'm not going to stress over there. Um, we analyze debris. In Research stores are fine as well. Resource stores, rather. <clears throat> so I will start building some ships. Oh, I got to rebuild all my spaceports. That's right. I wasn't rebuilding them because I was worried, you know, about them getting destroyed. So, well, I guess since we're here, go ahead and queue up a battleship. They'll, they'll get upgraded later on. So this is, like, not necessarily the most efficient way to go about it. But I want to just get them started. And here, yeah, I'll go ahead and do the uh, the full spaceport upgrade for all the places I have control over. It'll give me some options and what the hell, right? It's fine. Okay, now that we dump the minerals, go back over here and trade for some more minerals. Uh, doot, doot, doot. There we go. Just save a little bit of cash. Uh, no, we're not going to become vassalized. We're only temporarily weak. Don't worry about it. We're rebuilding some stuff. And, uh... It's not ours. We're the glorious pack of the pack. And we've been declared war on. So, hold on. What is this? No! We declared war. Wait, what? Hold on. No, we're defenders. The Seclacar directors. Oh, are they, um... Oh, an Awaken Ascendancy. Yes, they have declared war on us. And their war goal is... To humiliate me. And to seed a bunch of planets. So the Awakened Ascendancy has declared war on me. Immediately after the last war. Awesome. Um... Where are they? Oh, wait, they're over here. And, right, they vassalize the human commonality. Well, I think... If we'd be looking at anything, it'd be nice to sort this by distance or something like this. I mean, we want to have them seed a bunch of stuff to us. There you go. We'll just set that as war goals. They're not, they may not be convenient, but... Oh, I'm not the main defender? Who's the main defender, then? How do you find out? I'm at the top of the list. What? That's really annoying. I guess it must be the, uh, the... It must be the Federation leader that sets. Okay, so there's nothing for me to do, then. Fine. No worries. Um, we're just going to get obliterated by these guys. Back-to-back -back wars. And th that's the thing. The wars aren't... They're not really fun. I'm like, again, I'll just be like, I guess I'm going to sit at home and do nothing. 83,000. Well, that's it. That's the GG right there. 83,000 strength. Um, we can set this to be... Uh, currently set to encourage. Yes. Come at me. Well, allies come at me. It'd be really nice if no one else did, but <laughs> uh, but that doesn't seem to be likely. Station under attack. Is this set to be the rally point? Oh, I think I unset it as a rally point. Station under attack. I did. So yeah, they're just gonna rip through all this and. Yeah, it's it's prompting me to set war goal, but I can't. So. Don't show me that pop-up. It's not useful at all. We analyze some stuff. Hostile fleet present. 57,000 there. 100,000 over here. Yeah. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> We're just going to GG out of this. This uh, this Awakened Ascendancy um, is going to cause us to, what, like, seed, like, four of our planets? Something like that? Yeah. It's going to be at least seed four of our planets, and I'm not interested. Construction. Uh, sovereign domains. Galactic Commonwealth. Sovereign. Who's the... Hold on. I'm confused about something. Oh, no, no, no. I'm the Telecour. 
The names are too similar. Okay, so they're going to force me to seed one planet, not four. I kept seeing the, the tech clock, and I thought that was me as well. Hey, Comet sighted. Woo, influence. Um, it's only one planet, but I think on the interest of the fact... Like, the fact that I say, this just doesn't feel very fun. We're going to wrap this up, folks. We're going to try again in 1.5, probably, when they revisit the fleet mechanics again. But again, you know, biggest fleet wins can't attrition them down we can't use funky ways to generate war score in our favor um you know war weariness is not really going to affect these guys so we can't force them out to peace Incoming longer transmission i mean we're only losing one planet this is not you know we can easily keep going um Oh, you want a um, you want a migration treaty? Yes. Okay. Kept seeing something about like being a prisoner Percent in her domain. Complete. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Cruiser assembly yards, yada yada yada. Enemy troops landing. Station damage. I mean, yes, they're landing. Um. Wow, there's a lot of station stuff. Planet lost to invasion. Impulse thrusters. Mm -hmm. Invasion over. I don't know why our war score hasn't gotten worse, actually. I'm kind of surprised by that. Station under attack. <laughs> yeah. I just... I'm not finding the fun. And it's not... The thing is, if you're winning, it's not that fun either, to Station be honest. Because it's still attack. the same thing. You declare war. I mean, we've pl done plenty of wars where we win, right? You declare war, you go and stack wipe their fleet... Then you go and land some troops, and then you peace out. Station under attack. Yeah. I think I'm going to be playing... If I'm going to be playing Grand Strategy as well, I just started a Hearts of Iron 4 run. So it's going to be that. I also want to go back to Hearts of uh, Europa Universalis Station 4. Under attack. I, I think in the interest of the fact that we only have so much time in our schedule, I think we're going to be calling this Stellaris game done at this time. And we'll be instead revisiting other Paradox Grand Strategy games instead of this one. There might be another Stellaris game in the future if they really do... If I do feel like they've, you know, messed around with the combat to make it a little bit more interesting and diverse, but yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching the series anyway. Sorry that, you know, we didn't like get to like the true, true end game disasters here, but um, we've got like the stupid like black hole dude over here that we weren't able to do anything interesting with because we kept getting booted out of their territory. So that was a little bit, that was a little bit poopy, but I mean, so they added some new story elements in Leviathan. Sure. But I don't think that has patched up the fact that most of the combat's actually very, very dull. It looks pretty, but that's about it. And it's a shame because the early game is so good in this. It's the best early game of any um, 4X space type empire building game that I've ever played. But after that, it starts to wear a little thin. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in uh, whatever the next series will be. Bye-bye.